This is the TomTok Armor G12, an affordable and protective Steam Deck case, made to be simple. A while back, I made a review of the D-brand Kill Switch case for the Steam Deck, and that video did pretty well, so I figured, why not do a review of my new favorite Steam Deck case? Heck, my new favorite Steam Deck accessory, the TomTok Armor G12. So, if you've been keeping up with the channel recently, you'll know I ended up going back to using a Steam Deck as my daily handheld because the OLED model proved that despite it not being the fastest handheld, it's practically the only handheld that doesn't run Windows, which most of you know is a big gripe of mine when it comes to handhelds. In any case, in any case, I've recently been using my OLED Steam Deck almost exclusively for gaming lately. Well, one day I happened to come across a post by TomTalk showcasing some of their new cases. Naturally, I replied like the cocky tech YouTuber I am, and before I knew it, they were sliding in my DMs, and a few short weeks later, cases arrived at my door. Ask and ye shall receive. It really is that simple. So before we dive into this, no, TomTalk did not sponsor this video. However, they did send me two cases to check out, one of which being the Armor G12, which is the one we'll be looking at today. Maybe I'll save the other one for another video. But in any case, no money changed hands, and TomTalk did not get to review this video before it was uploaded, nor did they even ask me to make a video. First of all, what I love about this case is that it's translucent, which perfectly matches the aesthetic of the limited edition OLED Steam Deck. Something about that frosted plastic really makes it feel less plasticky, and while I'm not entirely sure what kind of plastic TomTalk uses for the G12, it does feel similar to that of the Steam Deck, though a bit more slick in the hands. And for those of you wondering, no, it doesn't leave fingerprints and doesn't seem to scratch super easy due to its more matte finish. The latch on the outside spans nearly the entire length of the case that helps ensure the case is completely sealed and secured, accompanied by one of the most loud and arguably satisfying clicks. Speaking of the outside, you'll notice the G12 is very slim with the exception of the thumbstick extrusions. I love this because it means there's no unnecessary bulk and helps preserve the original shape of the Steam Deck, which depending on your travel setup makes it easier to pack. In my case, it does help as I often toss my Steam Deck either in my backpack or in my duffel bag. I also don't really carry accessories with my Steam Deck, so I much prefer the simplicity over a case with an extra pocket or consequently extra bulk. The case itself is a clamshell style case, meaning it has hinges at the back and two large plates that cover both sides of the Steam Deck completely. So while the Kill Switch case from DBRAM was a two-part case where one part stayed on your Steam Deck during use, the Armor G12 is more meant as a case for traveling, and quite frankly, that's what I love about it. If you saw my Kill Switch video, you'll remember me saying that the case made the Steam Deck feel bigger than it already was, and that I never felt as though I was ever in any position to drop it like I would, say, a phone. This means I generally prefer having nothing on my Steam Deck when playing, because let's be real, the Steam Deck is already pretty sizable, so adding any additional bulk is less than ideal at least for me. Given that the G12 is a travel case, this means you won't be able to fit a Steam Deck that has a case already on it, no matter how thin it is, because the G12 is almost perfectly cut to fit the Steam Deck as it is. Now, I haven't personally tried to fit my Steam Deck in the case with a skin, but I think you should be okay. But hey, if you have a G12 and know for sure, drop a comment down below and let us all know. And as far as thumbstick caps, you should be good to go. And while the G12 is a very simple travel case, it does have a few features that I think really make it feel a bit more premium than say some super basic plastic case. For one, it has a charge port cut out making it super easy to protect your deck while it's charging. On the inside, you'll find four small rubber grommets that help create a buffer between the case and your screen as well as two long rubber strips in the bottom that not only help prevent your deck from getting scratched, but also help keep it from moving when it's inside the case. Think of these rubber grommets as little buffers that securely hold the deck between the two plastic plates, ensuring a firm yet soft grip on your deck. Wow, that that last line really does not read well in person. What the f who the f wrote this? You're fired. Get get out. Finally, you'll notice a small groove around the outside edge of the top plate that helps keep the two plates from misaligning or sliding back and forth when the case is lashed. It seems like a small detail, but trust me, there's a lot that goes into making sure that these two plates don't slide apart and either shatter in your bag or worse, damage your Steam Deck. Not only that, but TomTalk claims that the G12 is water and dust proof, though there's no official IP rating. I'd say it's probably safe from normal splashes and dust, but because there's no O-ring inside the lid and the charge port cutout is completely on 
unsealed, it's still susceptible, susceptible to water and dust if you're not careful. My only real feedback is that I wish there was a snazzy little pull tab in the bottom to help prop the Steam Deck up when you're trying to get it out. As of right now, you kind of just have to tip it over or try and grab it in these two spots where the cutouts are in order to lift it out, which is fine, but probably could be done a bit better in my opinion. And while I love a good, crisp latching sound, the clip in this thing is almost obnoxious. I'm totally nitpicking, but I will say that once I'm done playing and am trying to put my Steam Deck away, I literally have to leave the room to latch the case because it's so loud. I've nearly woken my girlfriend up from a dead sleep at 4 a.m. To which you could say, well, maybe you shouldn't be gaming at 4 a.m. Or at least that's, that's what she would say. So maybe a slightly less aggressive latching mechanism would be nice to prevent scaring the ever-living sh** of an unsuspecting bystander in a public place. That being said, unlatching the case feels like opening a loot box, and I feel like fog should just pour out of it when I do so, like little airlocks releasing something. I don't know. Outside that, there's nothing much else I didn't like about the Armor G12. It truly just is a simple clamshell travel case. All in all, I was super impressed with the Armor G12 and would definitely recommend it to anyone looking for something simple that allows them to toss their Steam Deck in a bag without worrying about it. And while part of me wishes there was some cool modern way to latch my charger into it, maybe with magnets? I think this is a good case for someone who's using their own charger for the Steam Deck that they likely use for other devices and therefore probably store separately anyway. But the overall fit and finish of the G12 is honestly a very premium experience when you consider it's only $30. Yeah, $30. Look it up. Just kidding. I'll leave the link down below. Not affiliate, by the way, but hey, TomTog, if you're watching this, hit me up. But that's gonna be it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And as always, make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. You can follow me on X, TikTok, and Instagram at XXIV underscore concept. That's 24 concept, learn your Roman numerals. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Get out, I told, get out. I said you were, no, no, you can't rewrite it, no. I read it exactly the way that it was supposed to be written, heard. Her, exactly the way that it was supposed to be said. Why am I talking to myself? Buy a keyboard!